Well, this one's had just a little bit of a rougher go, so um, I do not expect his cooperation um, to be real good. Looks more like a junior high, high school level attention span that we've got working on through here from, you know, both the one trying to gather him and the one he's trying to gather. Um, but I think this thing's quality is, is too hard to ignore and too hard to just go ahead and leave out. Um, you know, from a litter, uh, or excuse me, from a sow that is obviously um, in a short time done a, a, an, an incredible job. Um, this one looks like he fits right in there with the best of them. Um, and no doubt, um, wherever this thing lands another 30, 45 days, I think you're going to be looking up being like, man, I did good buying here because um, his extras are so, so good. Um, to have this kind of fuzz, this kind of bone work, and yet this kind of looseness of build, um, it's so hard to do. And then from there up, I mean, to have that kind of exotic look ahead of his shoulder, that kind of length of body and that kind of uh, shortness of body, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, he's still immature, but his four rib shape reads right. Um, very powerful and square and true as he leaves you. He's got a big tail, a stout head, um, big feet. Um, and, I, and I think that's going to tell the story of how this one's going to feed. Um, short bodied, exotic looking, big parts and pieces, awesome built, awesome color. Um, even though he's kind of a knucklehead today, I do think this one's got a bright future here in 240-4.